hello traders uh, today we are giving you the, the calendar signals and how it is going to perform from the next for the next week after august 31 so we'll check the individually the, in the charts and what are the levels should be followed and what are the news and how it is going to impact like in sunday the wins the market is open jpy data is there and uh, that's a uh, low volatile data so we are not going to trade into that one uh, the next week followed by the monday as we can see the all the timing as per the gmt plus zero gmt plus zero timing and there are no any major data into the monday so mostly we are going to do like in a case the building permits are there so mostly we are going to buy again continue to buy as the there are no major improvement and the next following data is also weak so in a kid we are going to buy again yes we will open the chart yes yes so it's already in oversold condition and again it is performed from our precise level so we are again going to buy in the next week into the calendar signals and this is the one over charts and we will follow the FOMC and in the Monday there are no major in the Tuesday we will see the RB interest rate decisions so we will open the ODUSD chart here and what we are going to do with this uh, ODUSD is already in bullish condition and we our TP is already achieved at the last week given on precisely from the level now you can see that RBA statement and the data almost actual data will remain the same 0.25 only so there are no any much the reduction or there are no any negative or there are no any reduce in the interest decision so it's again into the favor of the uh, bullish side and uh, already we have seen that China's manufacturing activities increased tremendously and Australia's export 80 to 90 percent or you can say the australian gdp directly related to the export to the china as the iron ore are bigger exporters and china is the biggest consuming the import from the australia and so as uh, the condition is improved and we are again keep on buying and if any correction near to in within a uh, monday we will take the entry from this level for the tp again 0.740 that will be our next week prediction for the TP and it can go higher to say a 0.75 as well but in between that there are might correction as the Australian GDP data is also there so we will take the consideration of that point as well as GDP is weak and so we have to take the, any correction into the pair as it is already into trading into the overbought condition as the volume is already now the trader might relieve some trading and some position on a profit booking side so the rb interest rate decisions it remains a high volatile and mostly it continue to uptrend till the 0.740 p now we can see that tuesday there are many datas for the euros as german manufacturing pmis as well as the euro core cpi datas and unemployment rate so here we will consider the euro major currency pair and the data is already the weak and cpi data is also weak as we will consider we will not take as a german data as a major as the, we will consider as a complete euro in uh, as the uh, german data only factorized 30 percent to the euro pair and immediately it followed by the 9 m gmt and CPI and unemployment data is weak so we will again continue to sell the euro USD we will see in the chart that what are the levels you are going to trade in the euro as we have already seen that the data is weak in this form and we have already sold on the last week from here to this point we have taken the profit and again we will sell from Monday around 1.1920 this level to the 1.1 till the 1.195 so 30 pips in difference we will trade with our plugins where we can divide the load size in 5 pips difference so we cannot miss 
any entries and our stop loss will be 1.196 to 1.197 and our tp is around 1.1840 to 1.18600 this will be remain our profit booking range so entry will be the same point and you can monitor our again this prediction as the gd in the tuesday again it will be followed by Uh, sorry for the inconvenience we'll set again and uh, we'll go to the yes Tuesday again it is followed by after German and Euro data uh, there are ISM manufacturing data and that one is also indicates some positiveness and that is not a major uh, data where it can be followed higher volatility so it's a mild data and you can again buy the gold and sell the US dollar as per the given data as per the given levels but the API crude weekly crude oil stocks data is there on a 2030 GMT and which is again going to be a negative territory only so we are again going to buy us oil from 42 to 43 level and if there is any corrections we will follow the sl and we will take the entry from lower level as well as the after the api data there will be the crude oil inventory which will again you can see the uh, wednesday there are the crude oil inventories until in this period of time till the api data till the crude oil inventory times we are going to buy us oil as there are the high volatility and as we have seen that opec plus has already cut the supplies and the demand are rising so probability are higher that the us oil can achieve the tp45 is 44 tp almost achieved as it has missed the last week only with the 0.3 point and we hope that this week 45 tp or it easily achievable and if any lower side we take the entry it is a good profitable opportunity for the buyers so and again we, uh, the wednesday the ods data are available as we have already seen into the od chart that all these gdps are more weaker so we will take the more position from the lower levels only as it will be the profitable trades for uh, we will just a minute we will open the chart for the od usd yes so what happened here that the data are weaker so we will take the entry if any corrections after the data we will take the entry from this point to this point around as this is the strongest support zone and there are many volume accumulation and it is already in overbought condition so if any correction suppose in a monday we are going to buy as there are the good data and the rbi statement is there also but till the wednesday after the profit booking if any opportunity on a middle side then you can even sell it if you want to uh, take the profit on that side you can take the profit and you can sell and but we will take the buy position from this point in this range as the data is negative on a gdp side and mostly because of the some of the weak point and virus condition and covid has might 
reduce the GDP and that is the possible chances. So Wednesday there are another data, ADF non-farm employment data, which is going to be improved and every first month of the first Friday there are the NFP data, non-farm payroll data, which is must, which is will be followed by this data only. So the Wednesday again, the crude oil inventories that we have already discussed and Thursday. The Thursday, the major data on uh, euros and GBP composite CPI. As uh, we are going to sell the GBP USD due to as data is okay, but the Brexit is the major cause as there are the quarrel between the European and between the UK's uh, politicals and they don't want to do the Brexit with the deal either with the no deal and October is October the December are the final ultimatum has been given by the UK government and let's hope that if any negativity and mostly it remains the negative as this uh, COVID-19 has created the both all the countries major drawback and so mostly the GBP will fall badly so we will keep selling in higher points our major selling point So we can see the our GBP USD. Uh, just a moment, we will take the chart for the GBP USD. As the pair is already moved up, and uh, week in the week we have booked the profit from 1.327 to this point, and again we will sell from this point for the TP 1.317 around. You can get. 150 to 200 pips again in the coming weeks as mostly the dollar will again rebound and it will create a pressure into the pounds as there are no any major data but nfp data will create a, some up movement in the us dollar and at the meanwhile we will book the profit of our sell position and the initial jobless claims and that data on a Thursday are going to be worse only so there are might some volatility into USDX and XAUSD and from this data we will again take the buy position into the XAUSD and it remains our favorite from the lower level as we have booked the very heavy profit in these pairs and due to high volatility in the last week we have covered around 100 plus points in the XAUSD and the next this week as well you see the ism the data is also weak it and it will create again the bullish movement into the gold plus the friday are the high volatile as the retail sales data as well now here we can see that whatever the lower position side odb have taken it and the data is good and it 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 has improved due to the export has improved and a lot of ex, uh, so chinese uh, import is directly as Australian GDP is directly proportional to the Chinese manufacturing data and definitely the data is good and that's the reason it's moving up and uh, next week again it will follow the same and so any lower side entry you have taken it due to the bad GDP number of the OD that the profit you can book it till the Friday the next data is the non-farm payrolls data is this is the most volatile period for the dollars XAU euro and all the major pairs and the data is already predicted negative and un unemployment and we already know that there are might some improvement but hopefully that one will not create a major uh, impact into the data and So the Friday there is uh, based on the NFP data, 
we are taking the buy position in XAUSD and we are selling the US dollar and we are selling the euro and GBP as well into the hedge to create the maximum profit as non-firm productivity's initial jobless claims and yes we will again back to the unemployment rate and non-firm payrolls data these data are negative and the same time the CAD data is also there which is employment change and it is already into the negative territory as Canadian fundamentals are already weak and we are bullish into the USD CAD as already it is into the oversold condition we will buy on our level and hopefully we will get around 200 pips gain and minimum 100 to 200 pips gain and major volatility will remain on a Friday as we can see the unemployment rate is also there IV data PMI data is also there for the CAD on a Friday so Friday remain high volatile for all the pairs as NFP data as well as the CAD data so CAD it's remain high volatile as the dollar remain volatile so the USD CAD pair will remain the high volatile and we will see the XAUSD chart at the, what will be the, our position into that because XAU USD is our most profitable trade the last week and hopefully it will remain the next week as well if you follow the, our levels here we can see that the last week we booked the tremendous profit from directly from our precise level 19102-1970 and the same again the second time it moved from the 1910 to 1970 and if any corrections between this point we will take the entry we will take again the entry from this point as well so this is our two entry point if any correction on NFP data as well and for the day trader for the small entry small quantity we will take the entry from 1960 to 1950 between so our entry points are remain between the five points gap and five point SL so how to trade between these ten point uh, gaps we have the plugins where it automatically divide your one lot into the nine parts and it takes the entry so you don't have to put all the entries manually it can easily place and you can easily set the TP and SL and you can book the profit by tra uh, trading with our plugin. So the calendar data we are remain again the bullies into the gold. Either till the Friday hopefully you can see that how the, we will correlate all the data into the calendar signals and these are the most high volatile data in a Fridays as well as the OD data we have seen there are RBS statement as well as the GDP data as well as the retail sales data so it will remain OD USD will remain the high volatile as well as Euro will remain the high volatile and USDX and XUSD so that this week are the most volatile trading week and you can grab the maximum profit by following just all simple levels and SL and TP if any doubt and query you can ask us anytime